Hi, today what I want to do is show you one of those cool art tricks that helps you do a drawing so that things that are in the foreground stay in the foreground, things that you want in the middle ground end up there, and same thing with background. Now one of the hardest things to do is to keep the position of the shapes and objects that you're drawing in place without skewing their scale. So someone showed me this one time and I thought, this is awesome, why didn't I know this sooner? So I did a drawing and what I did was I drew a shark, I drew a frog, and I drew a side view mirror of a car. My theme for this one was driving away your fears. So these are supposed to be the fears in the background in their mind. I don't know about yours. So to do this, what I want to do is draw the objects in totality. In other words, draw the whole thing. So when I'm drawing the frog, I, I'm hoping you can see this, I would draw all of the frog's pieces and parts, all his toes, even the parts that appear to be over the shark. Okay? And then I did the same thing with the shark. And then this is my rear view mirror that I drew. And you can see part of the shark actually comes off the mirror. Now from there, as the artist, I get to decide what's in the foreground. And truly, one of my biggest fears is shark. I don't even want to go there. So what I want to do, anything that's in the foreground, you can see all of it. So I go back to my original drawing, and I want this part of the shark in the foreground. Any part of the frog that I drew that overlaps the shark immediately gets erased. And let's see if I can get that up in there. Here's its top fin. I'm going to erase the parts of the frog that are there. You might have to go back in and um, touch up your drawing from there. Okay, so now my shark, one of my biggest fears, is in the foreground because all of the shark is seen. Now I want the shark to be in the mirror reflection. So the parts of the shark that overlap the mirror need to be erased because truly the mirror is in the foreground compared to the shark. Shark's just a reflection. So I'm going to take that part of the shark down here and erase it. Even the part that's going down there. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to do this way, but I'll figure it out better. And from here, my main tool is going to be my eraser to clean up my rear view mirror. Get this stuff out. The key to drawing when you're you know you're going to be erasing is to use a light pencil line. Easier said than done sometimes. Some of us are stronger than we think we are. Okay, so now the shark image is contained within the side mirror, not the rear view mirror, the side mirror of the car. Like this. So you know it's a reflection and the nice part is I'm going away from it. Okay? This composition that I'm creating is actually the basis for a quilt challenge that I'm doing. Okay, so now I can go back on my little frog and I'm going to outline or go over my pencil lines. Actually, I would suggest using a Sharpie at this point so that you could see your lines even better. I don't know if I can pause this. I'll just use a very strong pencil line. There's one of its feet that are still evidently in sight. And yes, I do have some kind of weird phobia about frogs. I know sharks and frogs are necessary animals in the kingdom, but I just don't really like swimming with them. It's just one of my quirks. And I recognize it. All right, so here's the back end of the frog. Uh, let me go over the lines for the shark. His nose is going off the reflection. Oops, there we go. He's kind of at an angle, swimming. 
is the other part of his back fin, and then this little fin that he has here. And then the connection to the car. So now, because I did that drawing where I drew the frog totally and I drew the shark totally, the image fits. But look what I did to the sh shark's nose. I tried to make it fit. We always do. I do that as an artist all the time. So I need to go back and erase that because now his nose looks like he got snubbed. His nose actually goes out of the field of view of the window. So I should not try and fix it. And to me, that looks a little bit better. Now he's got a weird nose because this part of his mouth comes down. At least to me, it looks better that way. Okay, from there, for this assignment, my students, I'm asking you to please add four to five words that relate to this. So in my case, I'm going to put in the word memories. Um, you always want to make sure you spelled it right, because if you don't, uh, your eye is immediately drawn to that word. Okay. I know this is about fear, but for me, I grew up learning to swim at the beach. And I also was, the beach where Jaws was filmed is where I learned how to swim. So that's got something to do with it. And then there's a whole other story about my frogs. Um, you were asked to have three to five objects. I do. I have the shark, the frog, and the mirror as I drive away my fears. I'm driving away from them. Um, so I've got one word. Um, I would say another one I would have, actually, I think I'm going to put it over here, would be water. I'm not afraid of water. I love it, but it's very related to my fears. Uh, memories, water, slippery. There's something both, both of these have a different texture to them. Uh, I can take my, oh. I'm going to put it here. I know frogs are harmless mostly to people, and I'm sorry this is in reverse, but there's something slippery about them when you pick them up. It just gives me the heebies. Anyway, that's how you get your design on the paper and ready to go for your quilt. And your 7 by 7 inch square that you did your drawing on is actually the same size as the piece of cloth that you're going to use. So you're ready to transfer your drawing. Okay, we'll do that next.